What's going on guys, Greg De Palma. Uh, I just want to do a video for you guys for just the Humminbird 360 alone because I feel like there's not a lot of videos out there really explaining kind of, you know, a little more in detail of what it is as far as how to adjust it. Uh, so you can see basically both of these have Humminbird 360 on them. The bottom one uh, is more or less what it's going to look like if you take your 360 out of the box, plug it in, and just go play with it. Uh, the top one I have adjusted to how actually how I like it. Um, down on the bottom one, I got it on full traditional 360. The top one, I got it on front view. So let's just go to the bottom one. Uh, the bottom one, you guys can kind of see where it's kind of not a really good shot as far as, as far as the color goes. It's real dark on the outsides, not a lot of in the view. So there's basically two adjustments you have to do to Humbird 360. I don't want to say consistently, but it does change a lot of times if you have a really uh, dark water system as far as uh, a lot of particles floating. It, that's basically the only thing you got to adjust. It's the same as side scan. It's no different. It's the same thing. You just want to adjust the sensitivity and the contrast. They're the two things you want to adjust. So simply is all you have to do is go into your sensitivity. It's one click down. And you can see right now, I could, I could crank it all the way up and I could blow the data right out. You can see how bright it gets. Watch. See how bright it gets. So all you're really trying to do is mix and match the sensitivity with the contrast. That's kind of our, that's actually not too bad right there. So you can see if I crank the contrast up a little bit higher, it's actually going to start getting darker at the outside in. I'll put that all the way at 20. So you can see right there, it's just not good. So go back down to 10. Uh, a real good rule of thumb, kind of on a starting point on all Humminbird systems. Uh, basically, like on the contrast, it's got 1 through 20. Uh, you Sometimes you got 1 through 20, 1 through 6, 1 through 10. Kind of always in the middle is a very good starting point. So, one little trick you guys can do too, that, that's not too bad of a shot, so I'm just going to keep it on that one. So, just on the regular Big Giant 360, if you kind of want to get a little better shot as far as what you're looking at, just hit plus once on the zoom, and it kind of gives you more of a, a broader shot of the 360. It's, it's a really good way just to give you a different view that's not really talked about. Uh, now, as far as going to so the front one, you guys can see, I have that on front view. That's what I like because basically front view is more or less where I'm standing on a front deck forward so that all the stuff that I'm fishing is, you know, from me forward where I'm throwing cast, trying to be accurate, all that good stuff. So going back out of here, if you were and you wanted to change a hit menu once, I'm going to hit the scroll bar up and I'm going to go right to display mode. So display mode gives you the options of 360, what you see right, right here. It gives you the front the front mode, what you see right here, and a left, a right, and a rear if you were to, you know, look at a specific spot as far as if your boat had to be positioned one way, you can put it on the left and just get a really good crisp shot, and it's just doing a constant sweep in and out like a, like a windshield wiper. Uh, so we're going to put this one just how it is. I'm going to back it out again. Exit that out. Minus one again. Now you just have your regular 360. So... As far as the range goes, these two units are linked. When your units are linked, you can go into it manually and change it if you wanted to. Uh, the range is going to be exactly the same. So if I go into the menu again, and I actually tap the range, so I just hit the 73. So both units are going to go 73. You'll see I do a wrist sweep. So you can see on 73 on a further out shot, I'd have to adjust the contrast and sensitivity a little bit more again because... That's just how you have to do it. That's that's basically the only thing you have to do as far as contrast and sensitivity get you a better looking, crisper shot. Very simple to do. Uh, you know, once you start doing this a lot with these units, it almost comes second nature as far as going to different body of water. You can just pull up. I can adjust them on the fly instantly, which you can do anyway, but you just kind of like get an eye for, eye for how you have to adjust it. Uh, as far as the range goes, you know, for me, it's the, the range basically... I put it at a cast, you know, an accurate cast. So from 50 to 70 feet, I always try to keep it at. Uh, if I am fishing something where I'm like spot locked, you know, I might go down to like a 40 or, or maybe a 30. Uh, because the closer you get, the better the shot you're going to get for more crisp and clear. And the other side of that is too, um, if you scroll down, here it is up here, 360 speed. And the same thing I said before, it's on a 1 to 6 on this one. So basically... Keeping it on three is kind of in the center. Uh, if I'm trolling real fast on my trolling motor, you know, I might I might crank my speed up to a six where it goes a lot faster. You can see it speeding up. 
But if I'm sitting still, and let's say I am fishing that barge or something, I'll take it down to even a one or a two because that one or a two is really going to slow that sweep down. And that's going to give you a really crisp and clear shot. So these are a couple little tips uh, that have helped me out for a long time. I'm sure they'll help you out. So if you guys are interested in getting a 360 or you guys have questions about it, these, this right here should put you on track and set you up how you should have it.